Hello, I am Adam. And I am Philip. Welcome to the Griffin Podcast. Let's start with Selwyn News. Last week, Grade 8 went on a Mount Royal camping trip. Philip and I went on Monday with 8 1. It was super fun. Due to COVID, the outdoor ed team found a creative way to get us out and camping. Today, we'll talk about our trip. We started by packing up our packs in Coristine Hall. Then we learned how to set up and use a mini propane fire. We also learned safety precautions of using the propane fire kit and on knife safety. Finally, the outdoor ed team talked to us about making the site cleaner than when we came. Then we were off on our adventure in the wilderness. We hiked up steep hills and crossed many streets until we reached Mount Royal. Overnight, it had snowed and that morning it had rained so hard that the hill was very slippery. Our class slipped and slid into the mud. Once we were at camp, we built our tarps, set up our stoves and our mats, and we cooked for lunch. We cooked ramen noodles. Also, we received onions, peppers, and cheese to make delicious quesadillas. We played games and had a lot of fun. Later that afternoon, we hiked back to school. Now here to share about his trip is grade 8 student, Rayan. Thank you for having me, Phil and Adam. So, the weather changed amongst the days of the week. Our day was quite snowy and rainy. How was the weather on your trip? Was it cold? Was it hot? Was it rainy? Was it snowy? So, it snowed a lot uh, that day. So, we had a lot of snow to play with. Uh, It was very fun. It was also pretty cold when we weren't dressed enough. Uh, Though, on the bottom of the hill of uh, Mount Royal, it was pretty hot. So, yeah. Now, on to our second question. It was a very long hike, or at least it felt long. And there was, for our part, it had rained the night before and snowed, so it was very slushy. And it was hard to climb up the steep slopes of the mountain. How was your hike to get there and going back? I feel that it was pretty easy since there was a lot of snow. We could, uh, our boots gripped on the snow, which was pretty good. The only bad thing is that the snow was very heavy so it made our uh, hike seem longer maybe for some of us was it was pretty easy and rapid for some of us the snow was too thick and uh, heavy so we had long walks so we're all wondering what was your favorite part of the trip and did you have fun well maybe uh having fun with my group was my favorite part i mean it brought us more together the fact that it goes out, uh, that we ha- get to go outside for one day, I feel that that is pretty cool. I want to also give a shout out to Nathan Twick, uh, Luca Kesteban, and uh, Henry, who were very helpful and fun to be uh, with during the camping trip. It's nice to see that we're all getting along. Now, as we know, we all had the same meals for this trip. How did how did your group cook it, and did you enjoy it as much as we did? We did uh, different meals, like we did some ramen noodles that most part failed, but was pretty good at the end. We made some delicious quesadillas with peppers and a cheese that I unfortunately don't know the name of, but was very good. And I really enjoyed it. Well, thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. We hope you have a great evening. Uh, Me too. Thank you. This week, a grade 8 student named Mohammed sent in a poem that Adam will read. So first to start this off, thank you, Mohammed, for being our first person to send in a piece to the podcast. So starting it off, it's called The Griffin Podcast, and here's how it goes. The Griffin Podcast, not the first or last, Philip and Adam made it very fast, and they also make it a blast, filling me with information on the school so I never seem like a fool. The Griffin podcast is so cool. Thanks for letting me join. Cheers, Mohammed. Thank you again, Mohammed, for sending us in this piece. It was very nice. And now on to our current events portion of the podcast. The holidays are less than a month away. The first night of Hanukkah is December 10th, Christmas, December 25th, and Kwanzaa, December 26th. We know your gift to your parent will be great report card. So here is what you might be wanting for the holidays. 
we have the top 10 best teen boys gifts. There's no specific order, so let's get into it. First off, we have the Sony PlayStation 5, the Nintendo Switch, the Tenergy Spider Quadropter Drone, Razer X Electric Skateboard, Bose or JBL Portable Bluetooth Speaker, GoPro Hero 6 Black Waterproof Camera, Crosley Cruiser Portable Record Player, Apple AirPods or Samsung Earbuds, Magnetic Dartboard, and for the best funny gift, there is the Earwax candle set. My personal favorite amongst these gifts is has to be the quadcopter. I have one of my own and I've spent countless hours enjoying it, doing tricks with it, filming cool videos, and amongst the list, it never ends. I really like the record player. I have it, I listen to it all the time. It really sounds good. And depending on which one you you get, you can also get ones that connect to Bluetooth earphones or earbuds, so you can listen to it without even needing to put it on speaker. Today is Cyber Monday, National Computer Security Day, and National Mason Jar Day. So make sure to drink something out of a mason jar while ordering your AMD Ryzen 3700 at a huge discount. Once a week, a person will be selected to be interviewed by Adam and me. Please keep sending in your topics. Also, your song will be played or your piece will be read. Remember to wear your mask, stay safe, and please stay in your pods. And thanks for listening.